Hey beauties, it's Jill Stella and I thought I would take the video outdoors today because look at this beautiful sunset. I just wanted you to enjoy it with me and it's so good to get outside. It's summertime and I love just riding my bike around the city and taking in the aromas that the wind kind of brings into my nostrils and the streets are just full of smiles. It's good to kind of spread that out because it's really contagious. And one of the things that I wanted to talk to you again about is aromas and our sense of smell. And I know I've been talking about this lately, but I find that when you kind of get going on a subject, it's good to keep it rolling because people get interested about this information and new opportunities come. Like my, my friend that owns this essential oils health web platform asked me to do some podcasts and videos for her so that's going to be posted on doshare lead i'll put the web address below if you want to check it out but uh it's cool it's cool to link up with companies and i feel like having your own youtube channel is pretty much like an online resume and it's easy to get work when you're online and that's what it's kind of all about <laughs> these days is connecting globally if you want to live a more free lifestyle which i do <laughs> i want to live the free lifestyle of taking time to smell the roses right so i feel like now more than ever is really important to share this information about kind of the how harmful synthetics are synthetic smells because we're totally bombarded by masking perfumes and fabric softeners and plugins and really perfumey soaps and these kind of things just dull our senses and the olfactory system which is the primary system in our body responsible responsible for registering smells that gets bombarded and temporary swelling in the membranes of the four lobes of the cerebral cortex can occur in response to try and block out these aromas from entering the limbic system in our body and when that happens you can experience temporary uh, loss of smell you can experience nausea nausea or even headaches um, and that's not good and we've all been on the subway or the streetcar and someone has that really powerful perfume and you're just like dang and it's because their scents are even becoming more dull and then they feel like they have to put more perfume on so let's keep it natural let's keep the celebration of your true aroma with enhanced by essential oils that's what I like to do like sandalwood um, and then that smells really nice because these essential oils will smell different on you and your friend and your family member. They smell different on everyone because they work with the chemistry of your body. <laughs> and like my friend was, Shane was saying in our previous video, you don't have to smell like a dirty hippie. You know, it's possible to smell clean still and use natural um, products. So that's going to be something that I'm going to experiment with more is making these natural products because the world needs it. You know, there's lots of companies doing this, but essential oils are very unique and they're a vibrational thing. And one of the cool things about essential oils uh, is that they work differently on different people. So they enter the body and they help you where you need it. So whether it is with your immune system, whether it's to relax you, whether it's to help relieve a headache or to lower your blood pressure or cholesterol, these plant oils have the power to do that and in a subtle way. And that's one of the things that we have to be careful about too is because some of these oils like ylang ylang are hypotensives so they will actually lower your blood pressure and if you already have low blood pressure then you'll be like whoa <laughs> i need to sit down whereas there's other oils that 
are hypertensives that can raise your blood pressure. So things like eucalyptus and peppermint. So you can be invigorated. So, and it all matters. They may say that lavender is relaxing as a blanket statement, but if you have a bad memory associated with lavender, then you smell it, you're gonna be like, oh no, I think of that memory and I'm not relaxed. So it's a personal thing. And that's what I love about essential oils is that they, our brains are capable of storing up to 10,000 aromas. And these essential oils are, they can change the chemistry of our brains. Seriously, like our neurology is changed. And that's a powerful thing because aromas are, affect you physically, mentally, emotionally, and they're all attached to memories. We can bring them up in an instant with an aroma. So that's a powerful thing. And think about, think about how that important it is to retain the sense of smell when it comes to the primal sense of smelling food. Okay, so smelling whether it's gone bad or not. The, these things are super important as a primal kind of response in our body. So let's keep it clean, let's keep it pure. I wanted to share that information with you today. So spread the love, spread the joy, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.